Hey everybody, cheers! I got a hundred on my test, yay! Yes, there's an ice cube floating around there. Judge me if you want, but it's hot outside. Um, so today we took our test and I got a hundred, which is amazing. I already sent a picture to my mom. I think I might have to send her a copy to put on her refrigerator just so I feel validated. But anyway, um, and then we also today made a gorgeous, healthy, beautiful, fresh, bright, happy lunch. Seared ahi tuna with a gazpacho like salad situation. And then we did another salad with shrimp and squid and fennel and um, what else is in there? Like, like with this orange vinaigrette. Oh, it was so pretty. Um, so let me show you my little plate. This is my ahi tuna. Bling! I mean, so bright, so colorful. My chef instructor said that um, I put a little bit too much of the colorful salad, so I guess I like a couple extra pops of color than I should, um, and that the tuna should be the main event, which I totally agree with. And it's so funny when you cook, I mean, like when we cook at home, aren't you just so happy to like be done with it? You know what I mean? Like by the time it's time to put it on the plate, you're like, oh my God, like everything's done, everything's on time, or it's not, or it's burned, or whatever the story is. Like you got to the end of the tunnel, and then like now your work has only just begun to plate it when you're doing this professional culinary. Like sometimes at home, like, okay, it's family style, everything's ready. <laughs> I set a gorgeous table, and it's like everybody get whatever they want. But wow, this plating thing is like a major art and it's very respected and it's a whole thing as it should be. So I'm just gonna have to figure out how do you plan plating and time to plate and plating techniques along with all the other hoopla we have to deal with as, as people that are trying to make a meal. So anyway, I struggle with that as far as like prioritizing timing and like figuring that part out. So anyway, that, it is what it is, but what a gorgeous ahi tuna. And then let me show you our salad. La! Ooh, I did bling and la. It was like a twofer today. Sorry, I'm like zany. I don't know why. I think I'm just really happy that I got her on 100 on 100. That's how we say it in Ohio, 100 um, on this test. So it makes me excited. Sorry, that's my laundry going if you can hear that because I have to have fresh uniforms for tomorrow because tomorrow we are doing cheese. We're making our own cheese. What? Like fresh cheese, it's like ricotta and mozzarella and la di da da. And I guess we're doing a big like cheese tasting. So our chef asked for a couple volunteers to show up at eight o'clock in the morning, which actually means I have to show up at like 7.30, 7.45 to get all up in my gear and be ready to go. And of course I said yes, because like I'm not working right now. I'm doing this, I'm vlogging and I'm with all of you and I'm really focused and that's what I should do. I should go early. So I, did, I am. As long as I don't have too many of these. Um, anyway, so yeah, tomorrow I'm going to get up super early and do that. And then I will have a whole episode dedicated to telling you about cheese. What? And I'm going upstate. We're going to hang out with our friends Mitch and Mark. And our, we get to see our little babies. Our dogs have been up there for a week. Any of you guys who have pets totally feel me. It is the weirdest thing to be at your house without your dogs. Like, every time I make a noise, I think they're going to bark. And, like, every time I, like, I was cleaning their treat thing, I thought they were going to come, like, attack me. And I'm like, no, they're not here. They're upstate enjoying the gorgeous wilderness, which I will be um, doing tomorrow. So, anyway, that is that. All right, everyone, I think that's it. So, leave me some comments. I want to do a shout-out to Honeybee, Miss Honeybee, because you comment, like, every day, and I love you to pieces for it. Thank you so much wanted to do a little random shout out and I think we'll do like a comment question let's do a comment question for next episode so if you guys have any weird cooking questions or not weird at all like something simple whatever ask me a cooking question if I don't know the answer I'll get it to you and we'll do a feature on the next vlog okay bye everyone